In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can run the Trips Tight End Offense to perfection in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel is all about helping people get better at Madden 21. And so if you want to get access to every video that we've released about how you can become a better offensive or defensive player, we upload videos like that every single day. And I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe. And again, it just allows you to get access to all of the videos that we've done here on the channel. Now in this video, we're talking about a trips tight end offensive breakdown. And if you wanna get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description of this video. But um, you can get the entire guide for just, um, I think you can get the entire trips tight end guide for just $15. Um, so pretty solid little deal right there. But we're gonna be talking in this video about um, the play PA counter go. This play is super underrated in my personal opinion. Um, and the reason I say that is because most people um, really, you know, have kind of honestly probably forgotten about this with the plays like curl flat, plays like um, doubles on sale, pats Y in. They've not really been running this concept. And what this concept is, is this concept um, is the play PA counter go. So we're going to talk a little bit about that today and just dive into that uh, with you guys. So the way that I like to run this, I actually like there's several different ways that you could run this. The first type of defense that we're going to show you how to beat is a cover three Mabel style of defense, right? Just kind of a traditional kind of a traditional defense. And so really the most powerful thing that I think you can do is take your tight end and streak him. And the reason why I'm gonna say that is because it really does help with a lot of cover threes, a lot of cover twos, a lot of match coverages. This one little thing that you can do does make a massive difference. So we're always gonna streak our tight end. It's kind of one of the first things that I like to do. The second thing that I actually really do like to do is I like to take the running back and I actually like to put him on a wheel route. You can put him, if you have a table route, a table route is probably a little bit better, okay? But um, either a table route or a wheel route. I really like that. Um, if they're running a lot of man coverage, you might wanna use an option route, but zone, it really does help open up zone coverage a lot, actually. And then the next thing that I like to do is I'm gonna take the square receiver um, and I'm just going to simply put him on either a, I like to drag him, okay? If you don't if you don't like to drag him, you can just put him on a smoke screen, but I actually really like to motion over with a drag here. Um, and you'll see it's gonna create this nice little natural you know, spacing within the play. Now the first thing that you can do, and of course Jair Alexander is uh, X factor, but the first thing that you can do on this play is you can hit your tight end seam, especially if there's not like a zone in that direction. So if there's like a cover three style of zone, right? When I motion, you see that the corner goes all the way out here. So if I stamp the ball right here, I can hit this route. Now again, you wanna be watching the user. Most of the time, the user will take care of both of those routes. Um, to be honest, um, at this point in the season, a lot of people are going to try to use her from the tight end to the crosser. That's kind of the natural path of someone that's, you know, playing trips tight end that that's what they're going to take. But I just want to share this with you one more time. So again, if you're if you're reading watching this, right up the seam, just a little up pass lead, literally a directly up pass lead, you can hit that route. It's very very good and very very simple. Now, what if I wanted to go to um, what if I wanted to go to a cover two style defense? So something like something like this right here, cover two, okay? So if I go to a cover two style of defense where I could split the safeties, um, you're gonna see we're gonna do the exact same route combination, same things happen, we move uh, across. But what you're gonna see now is that this D path is gonna climb, 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 and actually does a decent job at taking the tight end route away up the middle. You can still hit it, but it's a very tight window. So, you know, that's just something you need to be aware of. Now, what if they do something like, and this is actually very coming, becoming very common, where they'll be in a cover three style defense, but what they'll do is they'll put an outside quarter on the field on the left side, or on this right side here, and they may do something like a deep half on the left. 
that kind of adjustment. If they do something like that, again, you're going to notice here, and this is why it's just important to show you the progressions. If they do something like that, you're going to see here that this tight end route should be wide open. It should be wide open up the seam, as you can see, for easy yards and borderline the touchdown, depending on how fast your tight end is. But that's kind of the first step, the first step. The second step is against Mabel coverage. The beauty of this crossing route is it does get over things like 25 yard purple zones, okay? Um, a 30 yard or 25 yard flat zone will probably do a little bit better of a job, but this crossing route is honestly super, super underrated. You'll see right here, once it gets to the sideline, you can kind of up, up lead it. Um, they actually played it better than I thought they would on that, but you know you do have that if you you know if you have a, if you have a defense that will give it to you they're not always gonna more than likely especially if you're playing someone from trips tied in you know i mean people know that this play is going to come so they're less likely to give that up they're more likely to give up the next thing we're going to talk about um, but as you see here you basically have a high low read you can you force them to have to mabel coverage on the right but the beauty of this is you also will force mabel coverage to the left side and the problem with what their adjustments are going to mean is they're not going to be able to stop everything so the beauty of this little out route right here is so underrated but it's a very nice little check down read so you have these two little check down reads that are super super effective but if you just take a look here that little triangle route to the outside very very nice now if you want to um you certainly can smart route that route so like if i'm if i'm in pa counter go or I'm sorry, I guess you can't smart at it. Never mind. Um, but you can do that. And that that's a good way to, you know, just have a check down read. I mean, it's honestly triangle is a check down. Look at how long he takes to run the route. But the, to the point at which where he gets on the field is very, very nice uh, for your offense. Now, again, if you wanted to take your running back and you wanted to put him on an option route, then you know now what's going to happen is you're going to notice that if they don't have a yellow zone which i will have one on this but if they don't have a yellow zone you're going to have a lot more room if they do have a yellow zone you'll notice that 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 um option route will pull a lot of zones into him he'll pull uh things like the curl flats so if they're doing curl flats um the running back will basically pull him in you know in into the middle of the field Another situation that you might go up against is, again, if they run a Mabel coverage, but maybe they don't uh, put a yellow zone on the field. If that's a situation, then you can just pop the option route um, if you need to. So if there's no yellow zones on the field, now you've got even another reason as to why you can do this. The last thing I want to share with you is the ultimate check down uh, in Madden 21. It's very good, um, especially if they're, you know, maybe they're blitzing two people, right? But they're going to do a drop zone just like this, and maybe they're going to match on the circle. Like, this is a very popular way for someone to play a defense against trips tight end, right? What their user in the middle field is going to really take the crosser. And so if you go to a play like PA counter go, and you set it up exactly like I suggested, then what's going to happen is you do something like this, and then you snap the ball, and you just take your little drag, right? That's one of the things that Jay Wall does. One of the things that I think he's very good at is consistently making the right decision and consistently taking the check down. The trips tight off tight end offense is unstoppable. It's one of the best offenses in Madden 21. And if you want to learn how to run it exactly the way that I would recommend it and the way that I've wrote and written about it, you can get my Trips Tight End Offensive Guide for just $10 in the description. It will literally walk you through step-by-step -step how to run the Trips Tight End to absolute perfection. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get the guide, it is going to be available down in the description of this video as well as in the comments.